Hello and welcome to our 2K Sports PGA Tour action. We're at the Transatlantic Championship. Today's coverage is about to begin. Delighted you're able to join us for this first round action. I'm Luke Elvey. It's great to have your company. And I'm alongside Rich Beam in the booth. Rich, let's get stuck into it. What's this opening hole like? Opening tee shot here at the links at Royal Atlantic is a good one. 438 yards from the back to par four. Players are going to take long iron or fairway wood and try and keep it down the left-hand side as best they can. Second shot is going to be up and over a ravine, and you can see here an hourglass-shaped green. This is a very difficult second shot. Depends on the left-hand side. You better be wary of what's to the left of it. No good. Can't wait to see what unfolds. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. Left yourself an opportunity. Slim chance here for birdie, but you never know. Now that's a mistake. How do you leave that short? Well, these are good putts to make. Good for momentum. Right on seven feet. Looking good. Ouch. That hurts. This one's for bogey. And that puddle drop. Well done. Yep, that's disappointing. Getting underway over par. That never helped. Yeah, a bit of a rocky start, but let's face it. 17 holes left to play, Luke. There's lots of times to make up for that mistake. And let's have a look at Tony Fee now. Well, that was some fancy shot making there. Let's recap it. Let's return to live play now. Well, a man on the ground, John McCarthy, would have a better look at this. How's it lying? Well, they might have a good chance with this one. It's in the first cut, sitting, sitting pretty good. Woo, back there, horsey. This is an extremely long putt. We might even have to hinge on this one. Not sure how that putt came up shy. Five feet coming up to the cup. Hey, that's a chance. Yeah, nothing to sweat over that one. We'll hold. Nicely played. Moving on up the leaderboard now after that hole. Teeing off here at the third hole. Wow, that was just striped. Playing up to an elevated green here. Going with the six iron here. Pretty good shot there. Let's see if we can make this big putt for birdie. Oh, this looks pure. Oh, that's frustrating. And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks right now. Currently at plus one for the day. Let's see what happens here on the fourth. That's heading for the fairway.
Well, there's uh, action of plenty all over the course. Let's have a look at this highlight from another player. Well, this is a fair reason why our leader is where he is on the leaderboard. They've hold it. And back to the course with the live action. Second shot here on the fourth. Getting ready to play their third. Just a couple back from our leader. Going with the pitching wedge here. Oh, come on, sit. Yes, any time you can find the green and have a putt, you'll take it. This would be a good putt to hold. it would help move you into the top ten. More chance to sneak inside top 20 in the standings here with this putt. Okay, let's head to the next. Just two shots back after that hole. Let's see what happens here at the fifth. And after that par, they're looking for something good here. Going with the seven. This one's going right at the pin here. Oh, wonderful shot and a chance for Birdie at the fifth. Absolutely. In there close. Good look at Birdie coming up. And let's have a look at Tony Fee now. What an opportunity to make a Birdie. And down she goes. That's a good way to move into the top ten. He's in a share of seventh place. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. Oh, good drive. That one should find the fairway. Second shot here on the sixth. Interesting choice of the driver here. Yep, give yourself a pat on the back. And here we are with the third shot. Only one shot off the pace. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. That's a great shot into birdie range here at the sixth. Of all the shots that I like the most, that one ranks right up there. Important putt here. They make it. They're into the top five. Hang on, this looks pretty handy. Always nice to hold those for a birdie. And that will take him to one under. He's currently tied for first. Let's see what happens here on the seventh. Well, this should find the short grass. John, do you have any info down there? Down on the eighth hole, guys, this is Matt Kuchar. 
This would be a great up and down. What? Oh, that's incredible. And for birdie too. A little punch shot here. Oh, yes. What a result. Fantastically played. Choosing the nine iron here. This one is chewing fiber. Great shot into the seventh and a chance for birdie. Eight feet to the cup. A well hold, he'll take the birdie. And that will take him to two under. And at the end of that hole, he's gone into clear outright leader. The play so far has been stellar, increasing the lead loop, but can they maintain it? Let's find out. Opting for the hybrid, I think. Oh, what a gorgeous looking shot that is, Rich. Not a bad approach, that one up onto the green. A couple of putts from there, and that'll be a pretty good hole. Putting for birdie. Oh, I like the look of this. Just didn't drop. Just four feet remaining between him and the hole. Well done. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. Here we are at the final hole on the front nine. Well, on the tee now, coming off a par. Chance to pipe one up the middle. Ah, it's heading to the rough for mine. John's down on the course, and do you have a better look at this lie? Well, guys, they're in the deep stuff here, and they did get a favorable lie considering the situation. Let's see what happens. Going with the hybrid. That's not the outcome they were after. Not easy to find the green coming out of the rough. He has this putt to save his par. Oh. It's just about three feet away. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on to the next. And let's have a look at Tony Fee now. This would be a great up and down. Go ahead and make it. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Well, Rich, as we make the turn to the back nine, what are your thoughts so far? Yeah, good spot, isn't it? I got to say, I'd rather be in the lead or tied for the lead than in the chasing pack. Gives you just a little margin of error should you have one, but I gotta say this player is awfully solid. Looks like they put a good swing on that one. That should find the short stuff. John, what's going on out there? Down here on the 11th hole as Matt Kutcher preps his next shot. Sitting at one under. Currently tied for first place. Second shot here at the 10th. Uh, it's a brave one. Driver off the deck.
Well, that's big boy golf right there. Always like the aggressive play, going for it in two and getting rewarded for it. Well played. What an eagle. And that will take him to three under. And after that performance, they'll stay right where they are in the standings. Going with a three wood here. Yeah, that one's looking good. And he's safely on the green with that shot. And this putt is for a big two on the scorecard. Ooh, right by the hole. Opportunity to make their par. Looks good off the blade. Ooh, that looks like a pure stroke. Leading by a couple after that hole. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a par four. Oh, you couldn't paint a better picture. Gorgeous. From around 120 yards here. Up the hill to an elevated green. They're going to need to take a little extra club to get it all the way back to this pin. Opting for the 9-iron. Well, this one's right at the pin. Uh, this player's dialed in. What a shot. And let's have a look at Tony Fee now. Mm, John, what's this one looking like? Well, they should be able to deal with this. I think it's ended up sitting pretty good here in the sand. What a shot. Almost went in the bucket. Yes, fantastic stuff. Got to say, well done. Birdie guaranteed. Thank you. Well, you're going to be hard to catch now if you keep making putts like that. And that will take him to four under. Our leader is enjoying a three-stroke advantage. I'm pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. What a bad line, this one. Lining up from around 160 yards. Little extra club required going back uphill for their second shot if they want to get it all the way back to this whole location. Opting for the six iron. Needs this one to kick right. Not a bad approach, that one. Not quite inside the birdie range, but you never know. Hull a long one. Still counts. Made birdie on the last. Looking for a second in a row here. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Oh, this would be a good one to make. It's for par. In she goes. Let's head to the next. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard. After that, it's time to tee off here at the 14th hole. This looks to be a fairway seeker to me. Elevated greens are always difficult to approach. Make sure you got the right number. Looks to be going with the six iron. Yeah, good safe shot this one. That should find the surface. Yeah, not a bad effort that one. Up onto the green and a chance to hold your putt. Oh, so close. And they'll walk away with a par on this one. John, give us an update. What's shaking? Down here on the 15th, this is Matt Kuchar's next shot. 
opting for the five wood. Ooh. Talk about dialed in. That thing had eyes for the hole. That's a great shot here at the 15th. It sets up a look for birdie. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. Let's take a look at the leaderboard as it stands. Teeing off here at the 15th hole. Looks to be going with the five iron. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? And let's have a look at Tony Fee now. This would be a momentum saver here, getting this up and down. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. It was on a good line. If you can make this one. It's for par. Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. He's currently sitting in first place. Welcome to the tee at this par five hole. Go get after it. Excellent opportunity to extend that lead. What are they going to do? Oh, I could watch that swing all day. That's beautiful. Second shot here on the 16th. Getting ready to play their third. You liked that, didn't you? A chance to move to five under par. Looking better. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. And that should secure the par. Well done. So after that hole, this is what the leaderboard looks like. Now two shots up after that one. You've arrived at a par four. Step up to the tee and own it. Do you attack it and try and increase your lead, or do you lay back and play safe? I like to attack it. What do they like to do? Yeah, that should find the cut stuff. Second shot here on the 17th hole. Game with the 9-9, nine -nine, I think. A wonderful shot here at the 17th and a chance for birdie. Luke, nothing gets past you. Yes, this kid is a stud. And after that hole, leading Matt Kuchar by three strokes. Teeing off here at the lucky last, the 18. This hole is so gettable. They're definitely looking to extend that lead by one or maybe even two strokes once the hole is finished. Now this one looks to be heading down the runway. Well, that's a tremendous shot and sets up a wonderful opportunity. Using all of his muscles to get that one home in two. Oh, you set yourself up with an eagle opportunity. A 
That's the cardinal sin, leaving it short in the heart. A chance to move to six under the card with this putt. This one's online. Okay, steady now. Big putt for Parr coming up. And with that putt, concludes this player's round. So there you have it, in the house, in top spot after the opening round. Everyone likes to get off to a fast start, and they certainly have. Not bad whatsoever, but still, just the opening day. Lots of golf left to play. However, it does give you a little boost of confidence going forward, knowing that right now you're at top of your form, your game is good, and... Hello everyone, delighted to have your company here on 2K Sports for our PGA Tour action. Today's coverage of the Transatlantic Championship is about to start. Delighted to have your company for this second round action. I'm Luke Elvie alongside Rich Beam and Rich, as this player starts their round in the lead, what should be their focus for today? Small leads are no fun because you think that you should win, you kind of expect to win, but you know that there's some good golf that must be played to get you over the line. I gotta say, small leads are just uncomfortable. Well, it's all promising to be a good day. Can't wait to see what happens. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. Well, that's a lovely approach and sets up a birdie opportunity here at the first. Almost a gimme birdie there, Luke. Fantastic. Wow, they certainly got out of the right side of bed today. That is definitely a confidence builder. Well, Rich, that's got to feel good, opening the first with an underpar score. Can't birdie them all unless you birdie the first, Luke. Good start. This one looks to be heading for the sanctuary of the fairway. Don't over club when playing to a green well below your feet. It's always a smart play to club down a bit. Just needs a little bit more of a kick to the right. That's well played. Anything on the green from there was fine. Birdie at the last. This for another. Looking really good, this one. And that putt will drop, and he'll extend his lead. Kind of like it. Two in a row. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves, a chance to keep it rolling. This one's looking good off the tee. That should find the short stuff. This shot coming from around the 150-yard marker. Going with the seven. This looks to be heading to the green. Not a bad approach. Grab the putter from the caddy. You're dancing. He's already had a few birdies today. This for another. Get in the hole. That was a gallant attempt. And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. And after that effort, let's take a look at how it stands. So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. Welcome to this par five hole. A 
Well played, mate. Time for the second shot here at the fourth. That's a good looking shot there. And here we are with the third shot. Choosing the nine iron here. That's some good golf right there. All right, John, how's this putt looking? Well, this looks like about 29 feet. Ooh. Just three feet to the cup. And in it goes for the par. Got to say, putting this well from this distance is a huge confidence booster. It's time to step on the tee here at the fifth. Opting for the 9-iron. Nine -nine. Oh, absolutely flushed. Chance to move to 8-under here. If it's up, it could be in. And that will drop in for birdie. And with that, he'll move to 8-under par. Awesome play. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. And after a bird at the last, they take the honour on the hole. That one's heading down Broadway. Time for the second shot here at the sixth. Interesting choice of the driver here. Nicely done. Getting ready to play their third. This is a ball striking clinic. Yet another green in reg here. Dare I say, Luke, this player has been in fuego with his approach shots. Another green in regulation. This one's dialed in. Just didn't drop. And they'll walk away with a par on this one. So with another hole behind us, let's take a look at the leaderboard. And now that finds him in first place. We've arrived at a par four hole. Absolutely tattooed that one. And that one's headed to the drink. And here we are with the third shot. Looks like this one's heading safely for the fairway. Luke, unfortunately, that got a horrible kick. Ended up in the rough. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. Not sure if this one will stay on the short grass. Yeah, the approach didn't seem to fit their eye. Not taking enough club to get it there. Well, that's a handy shot. Just outside 10 feet to the hole here, right on 11 feet to be exact. 
And there it is. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Ooh, I always love these holes. Here we have a par three. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. A great shot here at the eighth and a chance for birdie. Oh, these are good for the momentum, these ones right on eight feet. This one's looking good. And with that, that's their fourth birdie. And that will take him to seven under. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard after that effort. The lead is getting bigger and bigger. Second shot here on the ninth hole. Opting for the hybrid, I think. We need this one to bounce right. That's just inside the range. This one here, this is for back-to-back -back birdies, moving him in the right direction. Oh, just missed. And that should secure the par. Well done. Here we go, Rich. The back nine on Sunday. What are your thoughts so far? Yeah, no time to start thinking about that lead, Luke. they got to keep their head down and keep going forward. Cannot think about that lead or people will pass them. Oh, seems to have got a big piece of that one. Striped. Time for the second shot at the 10th. Uh, it's a brave one. Driver off the deck. Getting ready to play their third. <laughs> Trying to get to eight under par with this putt. Their short game today has been absolutely sublime fun to watch. It's got a chance. And racking up their fifth birdie of the day. And that will take him to eight under. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. Always positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. Opting for the three wood. Not a bad approach. It'll be putty. And this one for back-to-back -back birdies. Oh, see that line was looking good, wasn't it? This putt's about four feet from the hole. That's well hold. Leading by a couple after that hole. Time to make a move. The tee is yours here at the 12th hole. Playing this shot from about 180 yards. Slightly elevated green. They're going to need to take a little extra club to get it all the way back there. Going with the hybrid. This needs just a little work to the left-hand side.
This would be a great up and down from this spot. Look at him just surging ahead at the top of the leaderboard. That shot's so good, we need to have another look. Our current leader is up by three shots. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum. That should find the fairway. Playing to an elevated green here. Let's see if they've got the right club. Going with the six iron here. Look at the line on this one. Get in the hole. Pay attention, folks. That's how you play golf. Birdie at the last. This for another. Nice stroke. Oh, that's frustrating. Three feet to go here to the hole. And down it goes. Let's head to the next. Currently in first position. Let's see what happens here at the 14th. That reminded me of the Big Easy. Silky smooth. Looks like a similar approach to yesterday. They had a good result yesterday. Can't see why they wouldn't have another good one today. Game with the 9-iron, nine -nine, I think. Terrific shot and a chance for Birdie coming up here at the 14th. Oh, nice line. And mark it down. That's Birdie number seven on the scorecard. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard. After that, this hole is a par three. Opting for the five iron. Oh, I like that strike. This one's heading well towards the green. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. Lots of greens in regulation today for this player, Luke. This is a surprise missing this one. Are you kidding me? Nothing like it. Good stuff. And it's time to recap that play. Now four shots up after that hole. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. Such a good opportunity for this player to extend their lead. It is a gettable hole. They need to take advantage. Yeah, this is a quality looking shot, this one. That should find the short stuff. Time for the second shot at the 16th. And here we are with the third shot. John, uh, how long's this putt? It seems to be a fair way. I think he's looking at about 23 feet to the cup. This one looking really good. And another one goes. 
and with it, an increase of his lead. Our leader is up by a whopping six shots now. This hole here is a par four. Well, let's see if they can roll off that boot at the last. Lovely momentum here. That's heading into the rough, I think. Coming off a hat-trick of birdies. That's great momentum. Nicely done. This one's for birdie. Tracking. Yeah, nice mid-range birdie putt, that one. No movement up or down on the leaderboard for this player. All right, one more hole to go. Let's see how you handle the 18th. Excellent opportunity to extend that lead. What are they going to do? It looked like it came out of a cannon. Getting ready to play their third. And this putt is for a big four on the scorecard. Looking really good. Ouch, that hurts. And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. Unfortunately, not a birdie, but an easy par to finish. And through 36 holes, this player continues to shine out there in top spot. Luke, big lead through the opening 36, but no time to get complacent. There's still a lot of golf to play, and they need to continue to make birdies in order to finish ahead. Well, that just about concludes our coverage.